A nurse at the top West Virginia hospital where COVID-19 patients are being sent gained attention on Facebook after posting her story about what she sees behind ICU doors. In this exclusive interview, she tells reporter Stephanie Grinley that it's been weeks since she's seen a patient that was not COVID-19 positive. And now she says she can't stay silent after she's heard her friends and family say the virus is not real. Until you remember the name of every single patient you have lost to this virus, until you can't count the number of weak hands you've held as they take their last breath. Probably more than I can count. I've not had, I've personally not had a single COVID patient come off of the ventilator and survive. Until you felt 16 hour shifts, the burnout only a year and a half into your professional career. I expected to have sick patients, but COVID sick is a whole new type of sick. Until the truth about the things you've seen at work becomes too heavy for the people you love to be able to hear it anymore. It's been weeks since I've had a patient that doesn't have COVID, and our medical ICU right now doesn't have any that aren't COVID positive. Until you've sang Amazing Grace over your patient you've only known for 10 hours as they passed, even though you can't carry a tune in a bucket, but their family said it was their favorite song, so you tried anyway. We're holding an iPad as their loved one is like passing away and they're telling them bye and we're holding that patient's hand for them and we're brushing their hair and shaving them and trying to make them look presentable. We're hiding the medical equipment so it doesn't overwhelm the families, but you know, they can't be there and it's just, it's not safe for them to be there when their loved ones are, you know, sick like this. This nurse hasn't hugged her mom in months for fear of passing on the virus, but in ways she never thought she's been family for those in her care. One man's church sent him over 100 cards, and the family asked she read each note to him, and she made a promise she would, every last one, until. After I had read his last card to him, within an hour, his, his you know, oxygen saturations were going down, his blood pressure was not good, he was requiring a lot of medication to keep him alive. His family ultimately decided to make him a comfort measures only patient, and he was the one I sat in there with him for five hours as he passed away, but they made that decision right after he had heard his last get well card from the church, so that was, that was something. Until tomorrow, we fight for today.